outside of Richmond, in the fields of Caroline County, you'll find Checkpoint One. It looks like a paradise for horse lovers, but it's really a place of healing for first responders and members of the military. In tonight's Wayne's World, senior reporter Wayne Koval takes us to this unique refuge and shows us how it's providing vital therapy to those who need it the most. <laughs> I know that this work is powerful. I know that we are needed. This place is, has saved my life. Quietly nestled away in Hanover County, what at first glance appears to be a haven for horses is in reality a haven for first responders. I cannot express it enough that when I came here, I was, I was broken. I was beat down, I was, I was done. And these folks have been there every step of the way for my, my mental health recovery. This haven, a place where horses, donkeys, and staff work together with clients. I grew up knowing the power of being in the presence of horses. And so as soon as I was able to, I got certified to be able to practice equine assisted mental health. What that means for those involved. These horses are like live instant biofeedback. At checkpoint one, the goal is to help first responders who have seen too much, dealt with too much, and don't understand why they can't fix everything on every call. They're fixers. They, they picked the first responder job because they want to help people, because they want to dive in and save the world and take care of people. And with that job comes times when you just can't, when there was no possibility of fixing the situation. You're fine. For Will Shoemate, 27 years as a volunteer and career firefighter, meant almost three decades of seeing tragedy. What brought him to Checkpoint One? The death of, of two friends and colleagues, Brad Clark and Kevin O'Connell, uh, pretty much put me over the edge. It's me. You're fine. While not suicidal, Shoemate knew he had to seek help on his own terms. I was short with the people at work. I was short with my family at home. I was angry. But a pair of donkeys and the staff, Shoemate says, made him a better person. I've been a better role model at work, I've been a better firefighter at work, I've been a better husband, I've been a better father, I've been a better friend and family member to anybody that I, and everybody that I interact with. What happens here is the animal's natural instinct show the staff the true feelings of the client. They're paying attention to the breath rate and the heart rate of the human around them because they have that deep of senses that they can pay attention to those things. There's no therapist couch here, no riding the horses. What is here is the truth and the goal to find it. In the process, these animals are saving lives. And know that the donkeys have two lives that they've pulled back from the brink. And when not around the horses, clients learn how to cope. They recognize that that is coming up what the feelings are that are associated with it, maybe use some breathing techniques to work through it. And after eight weeks, the client reevaluates themselves. Once they hit an eight week mark, we do a, a check in to see if they're where they need to be, where they're at, and whatever goals they wanted to accomplish with us. While the animals are key for the clients, for the staff, they know when things are working. There's a moment of clarity that I see in almost every single client when they realize that what's going on in their bodies is reflected um, in their surrounding. Checkpoint One also works with current and past members of the military, but before any work begins, they ask for potential clients to come for a tour. That way they can see exactly what is involved and how big a difference a little time spent in this haven can make. That's a look inside Wayne's World. I'm Wayne Colville, CBS 6 News.